In this video, I will show you how I turn Squidward's house into a realistic version using Ibis Paint X. So here we are in Ibis Paint X and the very first thing I'm going to do is trace out the shape. I normally use this tool to trace shapes and for the brush I use the dip pen. Let's start from the bottom like this. Since it's a rock, I'm not going to give it a clean cut. I hope this won't take long. A few moments later. We're almost there, just a few more clicks. Yes, now click on fill and that's going to fill the shape. We've got our first shape. We have to do the same for the other shapes. I know it's boring to watch the same process again and again, so I'm skipping it. I've almost finished with most of the shapes, so let's start adding texture to give this some life. I think this texture looks nice for this. I'm going to turn it like this and keep it right about here on the top. Warp it a bit to get that round shape. Once I'm satisfied, I hit OK. And since I'm lazy, I duplicate that layer and drag it below the first layer. I repeat the same process. Then I merge all the layers. Now guess what I did next? Yes, I duplicated that layer and flipped it to the other side. I merged them into one, then duplicated it again and dragged it down. Oh wow, look at that. Oh my god, what is that? I used this same texture for the rest of the shapes. Now let's change its color. For that, I desaturated it, picked the color, created a new layer, changed its blending mode to soft light and painted it on. Now we need to paint shadows. For that, let's create a new layer, change its blending mode to overlay and select airbrush. Now start painting shadows on the sides to give it a round 3D look. Slowly, we get that 3D shape. Follow the same steps for the rest of the shapes. We have to paint shadows here to make it look more 3D and realistic. Now let's create the eyes with this round ruler. I used this material texture on them and I think that looks okay. To give it a more 3D look, I duplicate that layer, put it on alpha lock and paint it black. Then I slowly drag it down like this and it gives it a 3D look. Adding more shadows to make it look good. For the glass, I just painted a solid color, adjusted its opacity and painted two lines. Later I adjusted their opacity. For the door, I was thinking of cutting this one out and keeping it right about here. Let me just remove these sides a bit. Now to give it a 3D look, I'm going to paint some shadows around it like this. That makes it look like it's actually inside there. Also, I'm painting some highlights above this area, tracing the background out so that I can add some pictures there. 
For the steps, I'm not doing anything crazy, just tracing the shapes. This beach image looks perfect. For the background, this looks cool. I like the darkness on the bottom. To blend it together, I'm painting shadows there. giving the sand a bit of a blue color. I used a hard light layer and painted a blue color all over the image to give it an underwater feel. Now for the highlights. If you don't know how to paint highlights, check the link in the description for a tutorial. I was thinking of giving a shadow to the whole building. For the road, I chose this image and squeezed it into place. Then I tweaked the color and lighting a bit. And to finish this off, I added this image to give some bubbles. I changed its blending mode to lighten, and look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Now, after color grading in Lightroom, it looks like this. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, share, and comment to support my channel. Until then, See you in another video. Bye.